it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Craft. I'm a UK-based independent stamping up demonstrator. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Today obviously is Tuesday, if you're watching this the day it's released, um, and normally on a Tuesday I have been doing Top Tip Tuesday. But while we are in this bizarre situation that we are currently in, where some people are in lockdown, other people are um, at home when they wouldn't normally be, I thought it would be a lovely idea to do a bit of an introduction to crafting, paper crafting in particular. So I'm going to be looking over the next few weeks at items from the what in Stamping Up world is called the Beginner Brochure, which is a small um, bite-sized introduction to crafting. So if you're new to crafting, paper crafting, this is this has lots of things in it that are ideal for new crafters. So it's how many pages? It is only 15, 16 if you include the back page, pages long. Um, it has an introduction to stamps. It has an introduction to how you can order. Um, where there's a little video icon, you can click on that and see a video. And the reason I say you can click on that, if you go over to my website, which is linked below, you will see on the catalogues page that there is a copy of this as a PDF. Um, and if you click on the icons, fingers crossed, they should work. So the first proper page that we've got has got some kit, uh, kits on it. I have got this kit coming to me. Should be arriving tomorrow. Um, I have got those kits, so I will be looking at those as well. The kits are brilliant for beginners because they include absolutely everything you need in order to make the cards in the specific kits. They start at £25. This makes 15 cards. It's great for um, the men in our lives because they're more, um, they're less floral is probably the way to explain it. But we've got planes, we've got hot air balloons, we've got um, geometric shapes that look like um, tower blocks, all sorts. But it includes a stamp pad, as in a, an ink pad, um, a set of stamps, a, a small block, and everything you need to make the card. So adhesive, everything. Um, so we will be looking at those, not today. Um, and then we've got a similar idea with tags, but for this you need to bundle it with something else. So it explains what you need in order to put this set of projects together. That's all listed here. And if you wanted to buy everything, you've got one item number here. And if you put that item number in, you get all of these things. Although having said that, I think we are short of one thing at the moment. So possibly not. Um, but that's the idea of those. We've got um, a Magnolia Lane set, which goes with the main Magnolia Lane um, stamp set in the big annual catalogue. But this is a sort of spite size. Two ink pads you can get in a bundle. Um, and some lovely little car note cards. Um, so really nice. Uh, quick and easy stamping. So two ink pads and some note cards and envelopes and this stamp set and you're away. And you can make all of these cards. Brilliant idea. Um, Hoot Hoot Hooray, which is the one I'm going to be looking at today. Um, and it even goes into how you can step it up. Um, and then at the back with some additional project, uh, products that you might find useful. Uh, so let us get started. And I'm going to be, as I say, using the Hoot Hoot Hooray stamp set, which is this one here. It's a red rubber st set. We have two sorts of stamps. We have red rubber and we have photopolymer, which are clear. So let me grab a photopolymer set. This is photopolymer, so it's see-through. Um, these tend to be slightly less expensive than these ones. Uh, they're not exp none, neither of them are expensive, but the photopolymer tends to come in at a lower price point. So I've picked out the happy birthday card because we all need birthdays. Um, I'm going to be using the stamp 
the ink pad that they suggest. I've got the clear block they suggest. I've got the note cards and envelopes. Well, note card and I'll bring an envelope in. And I've got the watercolour pencils. So we're good to go. So this is the card that I'm going to replicate. Um, it's small, but there it is. So all we need to do is we've got our um, note card. It is scored down the middle, but you want to keep it flat for the moment. And if you run your finger over it, one side you'll find there's a lump, a little lump. You want that to be down. Then open your ink pad. This is basic grey. So, so to open it, it's like a compact. You just open it up and then you slide it. Now I tend to not slide it the whole way because if you do slide it the whole way, it's not as easy to get back again. So let's ink up our stamp. To do that, all you do is very gently tap the stamp onto the ink pad. You can then see whether you've got enough ink on. If you need to, you can add a little bit more, but you don't need to push. You're literally just touching it. Uh, someone once told me it's like patting a rabbit, a little pet rabbit, not a cow. So gently tap. I normally do three taps. Then I decide where I want it on my card. I hold it for the count of three. And that means that the ink has enough time to get from the stamp to the paper underneath. And then you lift straight up and there's your lovely image. So it's as easy as that. Now these um, ink uh, stamps you can clean either um, with one of our chamois or with a stamp and scrub. The chamois are brilliant. They are, are they shown in the back of the brochure? Yes, they are. So here, this mauve thing is a chamois. You just clean it with, with water. It's all you have to do. So you keep it wet and you just clean it. This is stained. This isn't dirty. It's actually clean, but um, they do build up ink over, the t over time. And you get to a point where you want to give it a rinse um, and then it's clean again. What I would call clean dirt, not dirty dirt. So oh, I need to just stamp the envelope as well before I before I pop that away. So let me grab a scrap of paper and I really do mean a scrap. So this is our envelope. And as I say, I'm replicating this project. So we're going to put happy birthday in the bottom right hand corner. So I get my ink, my stamp and just ooh, pick up some rubbish as well and just one, two, three, just gentle taps. I don't need to ink up the whole stamp. And because we've got these little stickers that you can put on the back of your stamps, you can see where you're stamping. And I just want that to be in the bottom right hand corner of my envelope. This is where I hope I've got, or indeed at the top right hand, the top left hand corner, because I have my envelope the wrong way up. See, even us professionals get it wrong, but you understand what I mean. So that's, hmm wrong. Um, anyway, you understand the, um, the theory, even if I did get it wrong. Oops. So, clear that away. Bring back in my chamois. I've cut my chamois in half. They actually come, they're, they're twice this size, but I've cut it in half because I like to keep it in one of these um, half stamp cases. And um, it means that it's smaller. If I want to pick it up, I can then clean my stamps that way, which uh, there are certain occasions, which I won't go into now, where that's quite useful. So we've now got our image and I've got my watercolour pencils. Now I have two sets of watercolour pencils in here um, and I denote which one's which by a piece of tape round. So I'm going to use the ones that don't have tape and I need a pink one. So that's my pink one, Melon Mambo. I need a yellow one, so Daffodil Delight will be my yellow one, and oh, a brown of some description. I could go Calypso Coral. No, I'll go Early Espresso, which is a proper brown, as you can imagine, being called Early Espresso. And then I can use some of the other colours um, just for the sprinkles. So I'm going to pull out some of the colours that are in this set rather than one of the other sets, just to add some sprinkles. So there we go. So let's pop those to one side and colour. So my banner is going to be yellow. Let me bring in my 
my crib sheet. There's absolutely nothing wrong with using a crib sheet. Pop that there so that it keeps it flat. So yellow, I'm going to just come in with one of the sides of the of the pencil and just colour that in. And you can literally you can go over the top and it's just like, you know, it's good old fashioned colouring. This is going to be great for while the children aren't in school. Um, really nice little project for them so they can keep in touch with their friends. So we've got, let me bring the stamp set in so that you can see that as well. In fact, I'll pop that there. So we've got Welcome Little One, which obviously would be um, for a newborn probably. We've got Always Here For You, which I think would be fantastic at the moment. Um, we've got You Made My Day. Again, if someone's done something nice, you can pop that through their letterbox. You don't have to see them. You can just pop it through their letterbox. Um, actually, I'm going to colour my sprinkles before I colour my icing, just because I find it easier to then not go over the go over the um, the sprinkles with the wrong colour and then the dark blue there we go so those are our sprinkles so I don't need those anymore pop those to one side uh, and then I can come in with my my nice bright pink for the icing on my cupcake so yes uh, happy birthday hoot hoot hooray um, you made my day for you. Just a really nice set. And as I say, perfect for children whilst they're away off school. Um, creativity is a great way to keep mental health going. Um, so sitting them down with some stamped images, you could do the stamping, depending on obviously on the age of your children. You could maybe stamp the card for them and then just put them down with some um, some crayons and um, and get them colouring. That would be an amazing way to keep them occupied for a little while and you could get them to make lots of cards ready to give to their friends um, because at the moment whilst we're social distancing in the UK rather than an actual lockdown uh, they could always go round to their friends and drop it through the letterbox without actually having to see their friends um, so they could ring them and say I'm about to I'm about to drop um, a card through to you or I'm about to drop something through your letterbox hope it cheers you up um, that sort of thing it would be fantastic uh, so yeah just a thought and of course great for adults as well don't think this is just for children because it isn't but it is great for children so there we are simple as that so let me pop those to one side and then you just fold your card on that crease that's already in it and just reinforce that. Now, if you can get a bone folder, that's brilliant. It makes your folds really nice and crisp. If you haven't got a bone folder, you can use your block. Um, so just improvise. But there we are, a really cute little card and an upside down envelope. So there we go. Um, there are other ways of doing this, and obviously I will be going into other things during the during the weeks. The weeks. Uh, one of the reasons I've chosen this stamp set is because when you get your stamps, they come with a paper backing, and the labels are you need to stick on. Now this is definitely something that I would suggest um, is for parents rather than uh, children. Obviously, depending on the age of your child. But we've got the owl here. You just peel the the paper backing off. Now that will stick to the back, of, to stick, stick to your block without putting the label on, uh, without putting the sticky label on. Um, but you don't see, you can't see what you're stamping. So I do highly recommend putting the labels on and it's really not difficult. So all you're going to do is find the label you want. And in this case, it's the owl. There cut down the middle so you just peel off both halves of your of the paper and pop that to one side get your stamp 
and just find a sort of convenient spot to start putting your stamp down onto the onto the sticker and then just let it go and it will fall into place and then just rub over the back and then peel off. So it is as simple as that. And then we've got a nice sticky stamp. So there you go. Introduction to stamping in 15 and a half minutes. So I will all I do always list any of the products that I use in the description bar below here and also over on my website. So do have a look at that. Um, there's a link to my web website immediately below. It says associated blog post and it's got some gobbledygook um, WP number, 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 um, which is just a short link to this um, blog post. So have a look at that. If you've got any questions at all, leave those in the comments below the description bar here or over on my website and I will get back to you. Um, if you have enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and do consider subscribing. As I say, I will be doing an introduction to paper crafting for our newer uh, viewers. So you may want to subscribe and if you want to be notified when my next video goes live, hit that notification bell. I will be going, uh, having another video later on today because I've got one of my challenge groups. The next challenge for that goes live at noon, I think. We're in that stage where some parts of the world have moved time before others. I think it's at noon today. Um, so there'll be some more for you to look at and that will be a bit more advanced. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Um, stay safe. Keep washing those hands. Um, my hands are getting really dry. I need to put some hand cream on them. Um, and we will get through this together. Thank you very much indeed. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye!